Hi, I'm Tony from Cloud Design Box. In this video, we're going to look at how you can set up a learning environment in Teams and SharePoint. So these are the different types of teams that we need to set up to create a full learning environment. So let's take a look at the different types of teams. So we've got our class teams, and these are used to extend the classroom. They're there where you can teach, communicate with all your students, and it's a place where you set and mark their work. So these class teams are great, but a typical secondary school might have 1,200 of these created every academic year. So we don't want to store all of our resources in each of these individual silos. We want to work together as a department, save teachers time, and have a centralised resource bank for students. So this is where subject teams come in. They're the place where we can communicate and collaborate with our colleagues. We can save time and drive up the quality of the teaching and learning resources by storing them in a central location that has a full transparency of the department or the subject leaders. And then we've got staff department teams, and these are great places for your departmental meetings, um, appraisals, line management, CPD. It's a space for the whole department to come together. So multiple subjects come together as one department in a single staff space. So these areas are great, but it might not do everything that your traditional learning platform or VLE does. So how do we fill those gaps? So a couple of things that we do is have a space where we can have a good overview of how the assignments are being set across the entire school by the department and by the class. But we might also want to look up an individual student and see how they're getting on across all their different classes and all the different subjects. So having a space where you can do a student assignment search or that you can look at whole school analytics is really important if you want to use it as a learning environment. We also want to make it really simple and easy to use. So having a layer that makes it easy to navigate, easy to find all your teaching and lesson resources is really important too. So we create a class dashboard to make it easy to do that. Of course, this is only the start. We've got lots of other videos on assignments, learning accelerators, how to use other features in the classroom, such as Class Notebook. But hopefully that's given you a good idea of how to get started and which teams you need to automate from your information management system and which additional features you might want to consider to make it that full learning environment.